So I'm going to take us um, into into the weeds, uh, talk a little bit about the city cash flow, and um, also walk you through how we're trying to count the jobs, um, the job growth since uh, the agreement set the 5,000 jobs. Um, I, I will say on um, tracking the jobs, it's it's incredibly difficult, and I think we need to come up with a better way to do it because I keep looking at different sources and they all say different things. So I'm going to walk you through that. So the first thing I want to flag, um, you, all, you all saw this last year, but for the public, um, the city's actual cash flow has never had a deficit. So in budget land, we have to talk about structural deficits because we're balancing uh, a book of projections uh, for the incoming year. Um, but what you see when you look at the comprehensive audit financial statements of the city is that there hasn't been a deficit. We're, we've been, um, you know, through your all management of the city, we've, uh, we've actually done very well. Um, you, you can see that the gray section is, um, that's basically reserves, uh, and then the blue is cash in. Um, the CAFR also uh, gives a, a job count um, in, its, in its contents. So I looked uh, at different years, um, and it's, it's, I, I looked at the general government number, and then I um, uh, subtracted fire sworn and police sworn um, to remove that from the civilian government number. Um, and the number that, that comes out is uh, we're missing 3,825 jobs. So that's the CAFR. And to be fair, the CAFR uh, ended in, in fiscal 17. So there's another year of, of hiring. Um, so then I went to the controller's website and um, uh, downloaded uh, payroll data. Uh, the payroll data is uh, not precise because it includes people who uh, come in and out of the city and aren't necessarily working at any given time. But the count that I saw is, uh, you know, about twenty-four thousand full-time individuals and about eleven time, eleven thousand part-time individuals. Um, uh, I, I don't know again if that that data, especially for the part-timers, is really uh, representative of who's actually getting a check, but um, it you know it's it's almost a two to one ratio, which is disturbing. Then the other document I went to, and I think this is the document we actually used in negotiations when we we set the five thousand uh, position number. Uh, this is uh, city staffing, not including de proprietary departments. So it's everybody that but Lawa. DWP and the harbor, um, and so we saw from 09 to uh, 12, 13 uh, that we lost the 5,000 positions here. And because the prior chart um, lumps civilian police in with um, police in general, uh, with sworn police. Uh, I went through and I uh, extracted uh, the, the sworn to see what the civilian number is. And so that number is, you know, we're about 3,000 away still from five of new spots. And that's just the math for the previous chart. I wanted you to have it, but we don't need to look at it. Then the other uh, um, Statistical marker that's that's in the supplemental budget book, the spiral book, my very favorite book. Uh, it, it tracks. I, I went through uh, different years of the book and um, followed the vacancies, um, and we can see that we're still relying on vacancies and the salary savings structure uh, rather than filling positions. Um, 
And then on vacancies, this is a, a topic of immense frustration for folks in the targeted local hire uh, working group. Um, it took us two years to get a, a list of actual job title vacancies. Uh, I don't understand why it's so hard to do. But any, anyway, we need precision in um, service restoration that includes vacancy transparency. I would encourage you next year in your budget to include a section of the book that tells you exactly which positions you're not going to fill. So that it's, um, or make a column and say vacant. So that it, it's clear to everyone um, what, what's being authorized. Um, the CAO did make a list um, for the pause committee several months ago. We appreciate that. Um, you might want to ask for a report back for a vacancy list of the jobs that are programmed in, in the department budgets but are not going to be filled. Um, and lastly, I know there's been a lot of discussion about PACERS, which we really appreciate. Uh, and we urge that future payroll improvement has to include position control. The county does it. We should be able to do it as well.